Good morning, everybody. Well, like, good afternoon slash evening. It's kind of late. Um, but making another video today. So subscribe, turn on your notifications so you can get a notification every single time I post for family content. So today we're going to do a two-month update on River. And then I've been wanting to tie-dye shirts. Well, I wanted to tie-dye whole outfits, but I'm going to settle for shirts first because I don't want to mess up a whole entire outfit. Um, but I've been wanting to do it for like two months now. And so we just came back from Walmart and we got a couple of shirts. And so I'm going to do some tie-dye of those. And then the fireplace that I sh or the fire pit that I showed you guys that we were making in the last video, we're going to take it out today and possibly sand it. I don't know. It depends on how like dry it is if it's not dry enough to sand then we're just gonna let it stay out for a little bit and then we're probably gonna do some hand sanding and then when it gets hard enough we're gonna actually use the electrical sander but yeah i think i'm gonna tie dye or i'm gonna start to tie dye the shirts first and then we're gonna go in we're gonna do two month updates so you guys can see river and he's so cute his daddy dressed him today and he's so proud um and yeah then we'll go from there so this video was also a little bit everywhere, but I figured I like this kind of content more than just like sitting down because I get to actually show you guys what we're doing for the day. Um, it is a really, really nice day outside for Montana. It's super hot. I haven't checked the weather, but I'm guessing it's around 60 degrees, which I know some people that are like in Florida and Texas, they're like, that is nothing. But to Montana, that is summertime and we're blazing and so it's super, super hot. Like it's actually too hot for my jean jacket. So I'm going to take this off. <laughs> Um, but yeah, we went to like this little um, park that we have on base. It's called Powwow Park. We went there for a little bit. And yeah, and we're probably going to spend some time on our patio tonight since it feels good. Just some time as a family before daddy has to return to work and I have to start school again Monday. I'm going to give you guys a video of the schedules that we have because having a baby does not freeze time. It should. Time should be frozen for at least a month before you do anything. But time does not freeze and there's so much that you have to do. And so one of these days I'm going to have a schedule for you guys. A video of our schedule to show you like what encompasses our whole day. Because I feel like we are always so busy but always trying to soak up like all that time with River. So yeah, now that I've said a mouthful, let's get started and okay everything i got from walmart and i figured i'd just show you guys everything not just the tie-dye stuff because i got plants <laughs> and i wasn't going for plants but these are just super easy to maintain i was actually gonna go we were gonna stop by my plant lady that's what i call her i'm not do you know her real name no okay yeah um no i didn't know her real name okay i know her real name but anyway i was gonna go to my plant lady today and get a couple of zz plants like i just showed you guys that i had in the last video because i really like them they're easy to keep alive but then we went to walmart and they had some for like five bucks and they were already potted and i was like okay that's so much like less work that i have to do so i might as well just go to get it but next time i'm still gonna go to her because i like her and i like giving her business um but i got a few plants actually and they were all like good price i'll turn it around so you guys can see uh what kind of plants they are this one has some really uh sharp points um oh the tag fell off of what it was i can't pronounce it it's something crazy this i guess you can just call it samurai but i like looking at the other uh name as well and then of course i had to get another aloe vera plant because I have so many and I actually use them so it's just good to keep getting them because I actually use them um, and I actually just took clippings from one um, and repotted it so hopefully that one grows soon I'm gonna give it about two weeks to like before I start to see something and if I don't see anything then you know then I'm gonna switch up what I'm doing um, and then I got this one this one's really big so I have a few jade plants, but I don't have any this big. Like they're all a little bit smaller than this. Um, I got them as little baby succulents. So like maybe like two, like this is like all they started out with. And then they've grown into maybe like this bunch right here. Uh, but this one is huge and I wanted to get plants to put on my shelf underneath my TV. And so I figured a big one would be nice. And then I got these two 
right here. These ones weren't potted, so I had to like buy pots and they didn't have any more terracotta. But I really like the white pots as, as well because my house is like white and nude. Let me move that. Yeah. So I got a few of these and I just think that they're really cute. They're different. I don't really like plants that have a lot of color on them. If you notice, I only get like the green ones, obviously. But there are some that, you know, that have the pink uh, petals and all the other kind of stuff. I'm not really a fan of those. So I like when I find ones like these that are different. They're not just a normal green. Uh, they have like some type of personality to them. But yeah, all these plants are super easy to grow inside the house, especially a jade plant. Um, and an aloe vera plant, like you really don't have to do much to it. Just like make sure you're watching your leaves to make sure they don't thin out. But this one is already pretty much grown, so I don't have to do much to it. Just maintain it. Um, but all these plants are super easy to grow inside the house. And my ZZ plant, I swear I forgot about it for like a month and it's still alive. So if you're like a beginner on having plants and you don't know what kind of plants to get, I really recommend any of these. But especially the jade plant and especially a ZZ plant. Um, and yeah, and these are great because they're just already potted. And I might switch them sometime soon just to give them better soil. But for right now, they're perfect. And then I have to pot those two. And this is the pot that I had got for it. So just a little basic white pot. And I don't know if you guys can see it in the camera, but they have, it's like kind of brown um, around here, kind of like it got charred. And so I like that too. But yeah, that's it for my plants. Now let me show you the stuff that I had got for tie-dye because that was the main reason of me going. And they already had like tie-dye kits, but the tie-dye kits they had were like for reverse tie-dye. So I just got like the bottle and then I got um, the shirts that they had in that section. I think these shirts were probably like two bucks each. And then I got some rubber bands and I got um, chocolate brown as the color that I want to do for my tie-dye and I'm hoping that it doesn't come out too brown more of like a, a tannish if I dilute it enough but we'll see this is honestly my first time tie-dyeing so like I said that's why I just got the cheap shirts because I didn't want to mess up a whole entire outfit so we'll see how that goes the gloves on his hands we're ready i need to put on my shoes i call these my mom's slippers even though i got these before well actually my mom bought these when we were pregnant so yeah they could be my mommy slippers i'm gonna go outside and do this in the yard okay so we have the shirts we did it in like a star type pattern, at least I hope so. I kind of just did that for memory. Um, but yeah, we have the plastic bags because instead of putting them in a plastic bag afterwards and let it sit for six to eight hours. So, do your thing, Habib. They sit it on the ground so you don't get it on your hand or something, right? We should have bought like a towel so they get grass stains. Yeah, they'll cut it and it'll grow. No, so the grass stains don't get on the shirt. Not the grass, I don't care about the grass gonna get cut. <laughs> Why 
this is this is river shirt it's so tiny i just love how small it is compared to ours like look and then look at his oh my goodness you're being so like detailed with it just send it <laughs> go for it try making noise I feel like I put too much dye. No, I, I should have put a little less if I was going for like a light brown and not like a really dark a brown. deep brown? Yeah. Should have put a lot less. Yeah. You probably would have just needed like a drop. Kind of thing. I finally moving on to a bigger shirt. Look at the position that he's in. Does that not hurt your back? Who, me? Yeah, is your back not hurting? No. Okay then. I told you I'm not a floor sitter. I can't sit on the ground. It's very, very uncomfortable okay. for me. Guys, it is so nice outside today. Like, look at the sky. It's like a perfect temperature right now because the sun isn't out but it's still hot and so it just feels super nice which is the perfect day to do this we should go on a walk it doesn't feel bad out here babe guys it's so gorgeous out here and he's just chilling like he's sleep we're living hmm? I can't wait until he wakes up so we can do the two-month update and we can show you guys his outfit because I just think he looks like such a big boy in this outfit. Like, oh my goodness. And don't look at my porch. It's so cringy right now, but I am I bought lights today actually to hang and I have a couple of stuff that I'm going to do to it. Um, I'm going to have it all nice and pretty before I do the house tour because we're going to start from the outside, of course, because we just have to because I'm extra. But... Okay, he's still on the same shirt, 20 years later. Oh God, my knees. <laughs> That's what happens when you're old. Oh, almost wiped my pants. <laughs> Don't do that yet. You should have wore clothes that you didn't like really care about. I don't really care about. I wore a white t-shirt because if I dye a white t-shirt, I won't be like too upset because I have a lot of them. <laughs> okay, and you put his in a bag. So his is done. It looks like a little pumpkin. It looks like a little pumpkin look. Can pull up my bags? Okay, so I have more packages for you guys to open up today. And this one is the same how I was telling you guys. They come in like a whole bunch of different, like it's only like two in this really big package because um, they're like sending them in multiples. So this is from the Baby Gap. And it's a little bear on the onesie. I can't get as close as I want to because of having him. And I don't want to lean too far forward. And he's asleep. I came in while Roger was tired. I'm going to see the shirts because he was taking his sweet time. He's trying to make sure that they're perfect. But this is the first onesie. And it is so freaking adorable. And of course, you guys are going to hear tight in the background because anytime I give something else my attention, he cries. And this one, this is a plaid shirt. And they're both from the Baby Gap. And oh my goodness, and like how I was saying last time, um, it's 6 to 12 months, so she bought bigger sizes that he can wear in the future. And so yeah, both of those are 6 to 12 months. And then this one is from Spearmint. Yeah, Spearmint Love, that's what it says on the thing. And I believe she said this is like um, a bomber jacket type. This one's also bigger. And it has a hood. It has a baby hood. Look how cute. I can't. 
I can't. This is three to six months, but this is kind of big. This probably won't, this is more like six to 12 months, I think, but it's cute. And this one, this is my favorite. I already opened this, so I already know what it is. However, she, my friend Alicia that I was telling you guys about, she got him a Ralph Lauren robe. Are you done with the tie-dye? Yeah, I'm done. <laughs> and I left it outside. No, bring him in. Uh, the thing, oh, wait, I got one. That's why I put him in the bag. She got him a Ralph Lauren robe that has his initial on it. It has a little R. It's so freaking cute. And it is still a little big. It says that it's, mm, oh, it says 10 to 14 pounds, three months. So, yeah, he should be able to wear this soon because he's actually already 10 pounds. So, he should, he could probably wear this now. Actually, he has to take it back tonight. I might see what this looks like on him. But it's a Ralph Lauren robe, and it's the cutest thing ever. I just think baby robes are the cutest thing in the world because they're so tiny. They're so tiny. Like, everything they make that is tiny, it's just perfect. But, yeah. So, those three packages are what I have for our segment today on opening packages. I know that's probably boring to some of you guys. But I'm telling you, I literally, when I order something, I order it and then I go straight to track your order, even though I just ordered it, because I get so excited to open mail. Like it's, I don't know why, it's just so satisfying. And I hate, like, I, it's not that I hate Habibi seeing what I got, it's just I hate when he opens it because the most fun for me is opening it. So yeah, just thought I'd share that with you guys. Um, but like you just heard, he's done tie dyeing the shirts. Can I see? Okay, and he put them, Oh, there's some dye on the bags. And he they're put all, them. On the inside. I them. Oh, okay. And he put them all in little baggies. And this is that you're supposed to wait for what eight. six to eight hours? Six to eight hours, and then rinse it. And then... Yeah. So yeah, and then you're supposed to put it for a rinse cycle in the washer. Um, and then you're supposed to have the end results. So obviously, it won't be today. We'll probably wash it tonight, and then I'll show you guys on the next video what it looks like but yeah so that's us tie dyeing our shirts and so now we're going to go check on the fire pit to see if we can flip it and then we're finally going to give you guys a two month update on dish baby right here and yeah i think the sun is like setting so it's like going in and out on my face and not in a good way so sorry about that but look guys look and my baby, him so handsome today. He's so handsome today, huh? And who got you dressed? Daddy got you dressed, Mr. Chub Face. Yeah, Daddy got you dressed. He looks so cute. And I don't know if you guys can see his shirt. It says Daddy's double, but only cuter. I took a video of, of him earlier, so I'll probably put it in there. All right, so hey everybody, uh, we're back again now, and we're going to be talking about River's two-month update. And he's he, eating, which is why my shirt is like so messed up right now, by the yeah. way. He will be two months on Tuesday? Yeah. Yeah, Tuesday's the 19th, so yeah. So, he so should, by the time you guys see this video, he'll be Yeah, two he'll months. be two months on the 19th. So, yeah, he's, he's grown a lot. He's doing a lot of different things now. Uh... I know right now too. Also, when we start putting him in a swing, he's trying to actually like grab the toys that are dangling above his head so and cute. things of that nature. Yeah, he's starting to smile now, not just when he's going to sleep. Yeah, like often yeah. he laughs. He laughs. He's ticklish. Yeah. So that's cool. Yeah, he's ticklish under his armpits and the little rolls he got under his armpits. He's very funny. Very funny guy. Yeah. Yeah. Very... He, he has a personality. Yeah, he does. He has a personality already, and he's only two months old, so it's great. Yeah, so he talks to her. He doesn't talk to me. He yells at me. <laughs> uh, whenever I do anything, he's just like, wah, wah. And yeah, then he, he goes to her. He's, he's like, been doing that since birth, though. He's, <laughs> he's been yelling at him since birth. But now that he's, like, actually talking, he's, like, yelling talking at Roger instead of just, like... <laughs> I just want to know what he's saying, honestly. But I can tell what he's saying by the way he'd be looking at me, so... Not I know nice I know words. what he's saying. Yeah, and he's saying not nice things. Yeah. I can definitely tell. And he's starting to um like kick off with his legs. 
So like if you have him like in a sitting up position, he'll use his legs to try to stand up, which is mm -hmm. not good because he's not supposed to be doing that yet. No. Because his bones and stuff aren't like completely developed and that can like tighten their tendons. So it's advanced, but when he does it, we have to make sure we take the pressure off his legs and not let him actually stand on his legs. Mm -hmm. Like let him keep doing the motion so he can learn how to do it, but not actually put any pressure on his legs. Yeah. So. Yeah, he can't be doing that. Nope, nope, nope. As much as he wants to stand, we can't let him. Uh, also, when we went to his checkup, uh, our pediatrician uh, was like, oh my gosh, he's very aware. Like, because, you know, if you guys have seen the birth video, uh, he was born with his eyes open. And he was just like... Looking at everything like and tracking. everyone. Trying to see yeah. what everyone's doing around him. Didn't even cry. Like, <laughs> came out and he was just like... <laughs> well, that's because it was such a smooth transition. Like, it was, he came out, like, in water. There was, he, it was literally such a smooth transition for him than how it is for most babies that are, like, born in a hospital, so. Maybe. He wasn't, like, you know, to the point where he needed to cry. He still cried, though, eventually, because well, babies cried are eventually. supposed to cry. Yes. So. Yes, babies are supposed to cry. Though. Yeah. So he still cried yeah, it eventually. Was just, it was just funny, because he was just... Like, just tracking everybody around the room. Yeah. So, yeah, so when we went to the pediatrician the other day, uh, she told us he's tracking as if he's four to five months old. Mm -hmm. Like, because he's very aware of his surroundings. He knows, like, us and that we're his parents and that, like, yeah, other people are strangers. Take his eyes off her. So, like, yeah, when he notices a stranger, like, he, he was able to follow her. Completely. Yeah, turn his head <laughs> and keep his eyes on her as she like walked around the room. Yeah. And she was doing that and she was like very impressed. She yeah. was like, Oh my god, that's crazy. And, and she like, held him up like to the mirror and he would he noticed us in the mirror and he noticed mm -hmm. himself in her. And like you can tell different as he was like watching different people to see what we were doing. Right. Um his uh, height is now twenty three inches. Twenty three inches. So he's grown uh what that is two and a half inches since birth because he was 20 yes, and a half. Yes, he was 20 and a half. So, so now that's two and a half. So two and a half now he's 23. Yep. Um, yeah, and so almost two feet. So he's pretty tall. Yeah, he's so getting, I'm pretty tall. Yeah, he's 10 pounds and 11 ounces. Now. Yeah, when we went. So I'm pretty sure he's grown a little bit. Yeah, he's Damn. probably a little bit bigger now. Yeah. From there. Hello. <laughs> Hello, would you like to say hello to everyone? Show everybody your cool shirt. Would you like to say hello? I did, yeah, I showed Oh, you already showed them? Yeah. Oh, yeah, I got that ready. <laughs> yeah, would you like to say hello? He has such a chubby face. I try not to hold him up under his arms because I just feel like babies yeah, don't like that. Like, I wouldn't like that. So I don't do that. But yeah, <laughs> look. He's so sweet. Yeah. Yeah, I think he's still hungry a little bit. No, he's always. Gonna, yeah, he's, he's, he's always, always hungry. hungry. So that's that. Like, I'll feed him. And usually he does fall asleep while he's nursing. But since he literally just took a nap, you guys saw how he fell asleep in his wrap. Um, he didn't fall asleep. But I know that he definitely wants to eat more. And then knock out. Um, here you go. As far as Ooh. sleeping at night, he's been doing pretty good. He still does, like, the four hours first. And by that, I mean, like, he sleeps for four hours and then he wakes up. He feeds and then he oh, goes no. right back to sleep. You okay? Oh no. Oh no. You okay? You okay? Yeah. What is it? <laughs> but um yeah, he eats and then he goes right back to sleep. Um and he does that and then he officially wakes up, I say like around nine, nine thirty when he actually like starts his day. Yeah. He's he, he sleeps in nine, pretty nine. late. He sleeps in pretty late, so that's good. Um, yeah, so we said his height, we said his weight, that he was super aware. He started to hold his head up more. It still bobbles because it's huge. Yep, so when it does right, bobble, it it's like, bam. It, goes, it bobbles quick. It goes really quick. Really fast. <laughs> and really it's fast. so random. Because he'll do good, and it's just like. Yeah. <laughs> and he's like, whoa. And he, it's like, what happened? And yeah. Because yeah. him has such a big head. But that's okay, because you're going to be so smart. You're trying to my hand. You're going to be so smart, aren't you? Yeah. And so, um, yeah, so he's doing pretty well with tummy time um, because he is liking to hold his head. But what I realized is that when we do tummy time, um, 
We have to do it after he eats and after he's taken his nap. That's when he is the most yeah. content. If we do it while this baby is hungry, he gives us H -E double hockey sticks. Like he does not like it, and he's like, no. But yeah, he loves going on walks. Mm -hmm. He still loves the booby milk, obviously, because he was just eating. Um, I'm trying to get him more used to bo taking it from bottles. Um, yep. That way, when I do go back to work, I he won't you, have um, the nanny like super, you know, frustrated because he doesn't want his bottle. Mm -hmm. So I am trying to get him used to bottles. But I mean, on days like today, where it's just, you know, we're having a family day, I don't mind feeding him directly um, rather than giving him a bottle. Are you tired? He wants yeah, to eat. that was such a bakey high. Huh? I know. Yeah, we hear you. I know. It was such a big yawn. Such a big yawn. Huh. Yeah, but he's pretty much growing more and more every, every single, single day. day. Mm-hmm. Yep. And he still takes oh, his vitamin D. Sorry. Oh. And we, we probably won't stop that because when babies are breastfed, uh, they need vitamin D. Unless they uh, get enough formula, which, I mean, if they're breastfed, then most likely not. But until your baby gets about till 24 ounces to 32 ounces of formula a day, they need vitamin D. So he still takes his vitamin D every morning. He's actually gotten much better with that because usually he goes and spits it straight out as soon as I give it to him. But now he's actually starting to swallow it. Mm -hmm. Like he does yeah. with his grab water too. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, his grab water he spits out. Like you put that in your mouth and go, but he's starting to like keep it in his cheeks a little bit. He has a really bad habit of keeping things in his cheeks. Like when he's done eating, he'll still he'll milking. still <laughs> like he'll we'll take him off and he'll be done. And it's but then minutes he, later. Literally minutes later, yeah. he just go like you go like this, and, and it all comes out his cheeks. All... Or if he like has his mouth open, you can see it you can see in the it hollows in the of his cheeks. And I don't know why you do that. <laughs> I don't know why you keep the thing in cheeks. I don't know why you do that. <laughs> and he just lets it out at the most inconvenient time. Inconvenient. That's all we have for you guys as far as his two month update. I think Habib is about to grill, yep. put some shrimp, some mushrooms, some pepper, some sausage, and things on the grill. Mm. I'm gonna sit outside on the patio, maybe have a glass of wine, and you know, just chill the rest of the day as a little family. Maybe watch a little TV, do a little something you know yeah see that's all i got for you as far as my two month update here let's show, them. show them one more time hmm? oh oh yeah. Uh. yeah you say hi one more time can you say hi one more time yeah he's so like oh this is bright <laughs> this is bright mm -hmm. you staring right at the light no don't stare at that <laughs> yeah <laughs> That is, yeah, that's another thing he likes to do. Yeah, he likes, he to, likes stare to stare at lights, stare at lights. All lights. And we have to stop him. Every time. But look, I pick him up face. and he goes straight to the ceiling light. And I'm like, you oh. get that face? How can you not let that face? so we got the grill going and we got the shrimp done he has the sausage on now um, and so we're just gonna sit on our patio and just enjoy the Sun going down and all that kind of good stuff so thanks for coming along with us today we kind of did a lot but it felt really good outside today and it's Sunday and so we wanted to take advantage of just being together and enjoying the weather and a family before um, our work week starts back up but stay tuned for the next video and like I said make sure you subscribe turn your notifications and give this video a thumbs up and I love you guys Mwah.